All content has been created by students in partial fulfillment of the requirements for SKAB 2922. This video is only for educational purpose. This video will shows the recent developments of attached growth system in wastewater treatment. Specifically, the wastewater process using fluidized bed method. This video prepared by Azri, Cyril, Fazli Rahim, Darius and Mohamed Zulfikar. As an introduction, we would like to introduce what is attached growth system in wastewater treatment. Attached growing technologies, or also known as fixed film processes, are biological wastewater treatment processes with biomass attached to certain forms of media. The traditional form of wastewater treatment system is a trickling filter. It consists of a solid bed of rocks, dirt, slag, polyurethane foam, sphagnum peat moss, ceramic or plastic media over which sewage or other contaminants runs down and allows a layer of biofilm to expand and cover the bed of the media. However, the filtering process also has many drawbacks, such as Strong cost of capital Requires expert design and construction Needs a steady supply of energy and a constant flow of wastewater Flies and sounds are also problematic and chance of obstruction or clogging. One of the recent developments of attached growth system is fluidized bed. Main application of the fluidized bed biofilm reactor is in the field of biological treatment of wastewater. There are two types of fluidized bed. Anaerobic fluidized bed and fluidized bed crystallization will discuss further in this video. Anaerobic fluidized bed, AFB, is an anaerobic wastewater treatment system. Inert carriers supplying a broad surface area for attachment and development of anaerobic microorganisms are attached to the AFB bioreactor. Biofilm-bound carriers are fluidized by upstream water to improve the mass transfer and oxidation of organic contaminants. Various forms of wastewater have been successfully treated by the AFB process, including wastewater from food processing, fermentation, paper mill, chemical production, resin production, etc. Fluidized bed crystallization, FBC, uses silica sand as a carrier for the removal of metal salts or inorganic ions from crystal clear wastewater. Properly controlled filtered flow guarantees blending in order to retain sand fluidization. Regulation of the incorporation of chemical reagents provides a sufficient supersaturation for crystal forming. Crystals are discharged as the scale is expanded to 1 to 2 mm in diameter. The examples of FBC applications are fluoride containing wastewater, arsenic containing wastewater, water softening, phosphate, ammonium removal, heavy metal removal from wastewater. The advantages of fluidized bed compares to conventional trickling filters are as follows. Since the media on which microorganisms grow are in a fluidized state, the surface of the media required for the growth of microorganisms is very broad which contributes to a high concentration of microorganisms and thus a high flow rate in the fluidized bed can be achieved. Owing to the high concentration of microorganisms, the liquid bed has a high capacity for eliminating different parameters such as BOD, COD and nitrogen. The size of the fluidized bed plant is limited relative to other reactor types and thus the space requirement is smaller. Fluidized bed care is economic where the cost of land is high. We are deeply thankful for the useful references that we used to complete this assignment. Thanks for watching.